the back we've got a little bit of an issue power valve cap the bolts at uh, either side of that were completely and utterly seized so I've been running some been running some heat with a heat gun on here on this outside one a bit of WD-40 heat it up and turn it a tiny little bit a little bit and I managed to get managed to get that one out but this one because there's a lot of mass in I couldn't get couldn't get into it and basically it's sheared off so I've got a bit of a problem now so I'm not doing anything on the head at the moment until I get this thing sorted out so I've got two options I suppose I can take all this off clutch out basket and then take this whole housing off or what I've done is I've actually filled that full of um, paper inside there uh, to seal that up I've then stuck on some gaffer tape all the way around here very making sure it's all complete seal around that top there and I should be able to drill down into there and I'm trying to try and drill that out and then get the remover see if I can get that out but anyway that's the thing now if it doesn't go well or it doesn't work or I feel I've got any muck in there then I'm gonna to have to take this whole thing off so the first stage is to try and do this without taking that whole all this casing and clutch off so I've got a trusty set of drills here and I'll just start drilling it. I'll put a centre punch in the middle there right in the very middle and I'll just slowly drill that out with a very small drill to start with and then get bigger and bigger I've measured how deep the bolt is from the uh, the one that's the one that's still there so we're drilling really slowly at first you don't want to break this little drill in there just going ever slowly and then we'll stop every sort of minute and just clear up all the little bits of uh, drill waste keep the work surface clean okay we're getting there if you tr if you use the drill really slowly look you should be getting out um, you should be out cuttings like that so you just go at a very very slow pace so I'm just now going to use um, a paper clip just to see how how deep that is in there about there so I've got um, a little, probably halfway just over halfway I'm gonna keep going okay a bit of paper I'm just taking that off just to just to use my magnet just to make sure there's no bits of um, gunk anywhere and then I'll put a bit of paper back on again and um, carry on so that picks up this will pick up any bits of uh, yeah, there's a few bits there, look, I felt, and I didn't even, I can't even feel them to make it out. So if we do that, then I know that nothing's going down into the engine, into the that area. Okay, hang on. I'll just cover that up back up again and carry on. I've now put completely clear tape on there so I can see exactly what's going on. That's a, before I had gaffer tape on, but that's a lot better idea. So I've got some clear thick tape so now I can keep drilling okay bit of another disaster so basically it got as it broke through the end of the bolt the drill jammed and snapped so I've now got a snap drill bit in the end now I'm going to try and drill out what I have already drilled I'm going to drill it out slightly bigger and then hopefully I can get that drill bit out okay I've got my little paper clip I'll just put a little mark there on, on how deep that uh, thread goes into here so if I now push this onto here I can check to see look yeah so it goes past it so I had a bit of a, a bit of a good uh, fortune here because I drilled out this hole with a bigger drill as far as it goes until it came to the top of the drill bit that had broken as it went through the through the end of the bolt and then I thought well why don't I just get a punch so I got a punch and I actually punched the drill through the end of the hole of the, bolt, of the, the stud that stuck the bolt that stuck in there so that the end of the drill is somewhere further than the end of that bolt and I measured I measured this side and that hole goes right down there so it goes sort of right down to about that where that blue mark is so um, that's good so now hopefully I can just drill right the way through to the bottom of that and uh, extract that with a stud extractor bear with me Pull that a bit deeper but I, um, the magnet won't pull it up now, so I need to actually put my vacuum on there. And then I can uh, 
Come on, that will get that down. Not really. Let's see how that's getting on. So let's keep drill drilling with that slowly. Let's see how we get on. The plan worked. So there's my hole, and I've drilled, drilled down to way more than the, way more than the bolt goes. So I'm now I've cleared that. I've cleared that. I've vacuumed it out with the vacuum, so all the, a little bit came out and everything. So now what I'll do is just re-thread that, and that's a four mil drill. So that should give me just enough space to re-tap that. So let's get on and do that. Okay, I've tapped that down with an M5 tap. That's just the starter tap. I've got two more taps to go just to get it the right size. But that's the M5 starter tap. So I'll take that back out and do the next one. I will show you something that, that all things that all plans never look. This is my uh, the holder for the tap look, and uh, it won't. It's not, it's far too big. It hits the it's the case. So what I've had to actually do is be very gentle. And just use a, a small pair of adjustable spanners but yeah it's working so um, I'll take that out now tap in I can actually undo that with my so that I think is just about to go so get the trusty old vacuum cleaner and I'll vacuum that out Final one, I'll use the right I'll try a bolt so I need to get another one I need to get another one of those I've got one of these brilliant Bolt kits, so somewhere in here, yeah, that one there, yeah, that's one there. All right, I'll get that out. And she goes in like a treat. It's not the right bolt head. I need the smaller bolt head, so I'll have to order this uh, a couple of new bolts for that. I'll just take this cover off now, clean that up, and put the power valve cap back on. So we're all back. I didn't need to. And actually, it's a blind hole, so it, there's nothing would have gone through there into that casing so I don't need to take all that casing off. So. Obviously the best thing is not to have to do this whole process in the first place and uh, I always have to learn you just got to be real when you've got a seize bolt it's just literally even if it takes you an hour to get it out very slowly working it one way and the other that's a lot better and easier and quicker than actually shearing off a bolt in there and then having to do all this. So you live and learn. So we've um, vacuumed that all up Put a new uh, seal on there from my rebuild kit. It's got a nice new seal on it. I'll put that on there. Put that on just to nip it up. And then um, yeah, there's the proper one on that side. We'll see how we go. In fact, I'll put before I do those up. I'll put a little bit of um, anti seize on there. I think what happens is water can get underneath there in in the join. It's obviously got no ring to seal from the oil, but there's a little, I reckon a little bit of water gets in there and then um, seizes up those bolts over time. There she is. I actually used the uh, bigger bolt on both of them there, so that makes it look smarter. But I'll order the smaller headed ones when I get a chance. Um, but yeah, there she is. She's all, all done, all nice and sealed and sorted. So we got out of jail. You can do it.